That's a good question. It's natural wine. <laughs> That's the the natural wine. It's it's uh, it's using the, uh, the, um, the 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 process I said, um, which was the, the carbonic methods. It's not using any sulfite and keeping uh, the wine without any additive to it. To me, if you you make natural wine, you will go for a, a wine which is bottled very young, and you are looking for fruit. And, and kind of a full of energy. It's, it's, that's really what should be natural wine. One of the problems we have today is uh, those wines, because as I said, the, the, the carbonic methods doesn't, uh, you, you don't met the oxygens. The wines are kind of unstable each time it emits the oxygen. So you can see with the aging time a difference in the wine, which makes the wine difficult to understand for the, for the public. You can have some fantastic wine, and then two days after or a week after, you the wine is back to the reduction, and you don't understand the wine, and that makes the natural wine very difficult. As I said, if you have the message with it, it's which is when it's made, how it should be drunk, and all of that, it works. But we have so many examples of we all tasted wine where we just don't understand the wine, and. Uh, and also, to me, there's a limit to, to the natural wine. If you look back at the, the history of France and the history of wine, um, I always say that, uh, I mean, we didn't use sulfite um, for century and century. The Roman would use, would, would add some uh, honey, would add some plants. Actually, it was to hide the, the, and, the, and to help the wine to keep. And because wine naturally goes to vinegar, and on a on a good vintage, you will have like maybe seventy percent of the the grapes going to wine and thirty percent going to vinegar, and with the help of a good practice, you can do hundred percent of good wines. On bad vintage, you can it would be the opposite. So thirty percent good wine, seventy percent will go to vinegar. Vinegar it's a natural pass for 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 wine. Without the help of human, wine goes to vinegar. So it's wine. It's a human thing. It's I mean, it's a, it, we made it, and um, so it's. Uh, I mean, I like wine. I don't like vinegar, or not for the same use. So it's uh, the. I mean, that's also where you stand, and uh, I mean, sometimes you have people who drinks IDs or drinks labels, and uh, they don't drink wine. I mean, I drink wine. If the, the label is big and the wine is not good, I don't enjoy it. If the wine is, the, the, the talk is nice, but the wine is not good, I don't enjoy it. I enjoy wine. And that is, I mean, that's where I stand. I mean, that is a very philosophic uh, point of view because you have some people who will just enjoy because it's very expensive and some people will enjoy because it's natural. And it's exactly the same. There's no truth in that. It's uh, and it's a very difficult thing. So do you like natural wine? Yes, when it's good. And do you like big wine? Yes, when they're good. I mean, that's that's the truth of wine. And uh, so that's where where I stand.